Yo, what's up everybody? As you can see, this is not my normal setup. I literally just got back to the house from a run and uh, I just, I had to go live. Um, I mean, wow, wow. Not, first off, I wanna, first thing I wanna clarify, not what we wanted, not the way we wanted it to happen. Wish Jake Bentley nothing but the best. Um, you know, definitely uh, appreciate Jake Bentley for what he's done. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of truth to the fact that the 2016 season would have been a complete loss without him. Um, but yeah, according to Mike Yuva, others, Ryan Linsky informed that, or been informed from the coaching staff, he's going to start this weekend against Charleston Southern. And moving forward, source says that Bentley is expected to be out at least six weeks with a broken foot. Could be longer. And to be honest with you guys, if he's out, if he's out six weeks and Ryan plays well, I mean, even if he got better, I don't think there's any way he'd come back. So, again, not my normal setup. Literally just got back to the house from a run, but I had to come live really quickly because this is crazy news. I uh, was, was, was kind of debating back and forth on the Daily Crow stuff uh, today because I didn't really know what else to say because there's been so much said, but... This is a bombshell. Yeah, I mean, it's, I <laughs> I hate to joke about it, but the Twitch stream was right. Um, I can't believe it. Um, but what does it mean for the season, right? I mean, you look at the schedule, Charleston Southern upcoming, you've got Bama, Mizzou, Kentucky, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, go down the list. I mean, the time's here. I mean, the time is here, you know? I mean, it's, it's unfortunate. It's, you know... Again, this is not the way you want to wish things to happen. Um, not the way you want to wish things to happen on someone, on a kid, because Jake Bentley has given everything he's got to this program. But things, as we saw Saturday, just have not worked out the way we all hoped and thought they would. Which have not worked out the way we all hoped and thought they would. Um, and it's unfortunate, again. But, uh, you know, I... I I, well, obviously, we're going to learn a lot more tomorrow at Will Muschamp's presser. Um, but this is this is crazy news. This is crazy news. I mean, you know, uh, we talked about the the you know the Bentley the Bentley era was over, and there needed to be a change either way. And again, this is not the way you want it to happen. You don't want it to happen this way. You don't wish a kid to get hurt. I mean, he's still a college kid at the end of the day. You don't wish him to get hurt, have his senior year taken away from him. But what I can tell you, how does this change the dynamic personally for Jake Bentley and for Ryan Holinsky and for South Carolina and everything else? Um, would not shock me at all if Jake Bentley is the next grad transfer to hit the market next season. Um, if Ryan Holinsky, which I expect, you know, again, we have no clue how he's going to play. I don't know how he's going to play. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that South Carolina is about to win 11 straight games or is even going to make a bowl. I mean, I, I think at this point, I think at this point with Ryan Holinsky, if the Gamecocks got to 6-6, six and six, I think it would be viewed as a huge success. Obviously, with a true freshman quarterback, um, he's still a true freshman, you know, but there had to be a change. There had to be a changing in the guard. We, we all said that. We knew that. I don't think this is something that's shocking to anyone, that there needed to be a changing of the guard. Um, and it's here. I mean, again, you guys are joking. It is, it's, <clears throat> it's, it's wild to think how accurate the Twitch stream was, though, besides the fact we lost to UNC, obviously. But, uh, no, I mean, the Ryan Alinsky era starts. The Ryan Lewinsky era starts in, in, in Columbia on Saturday. I, I think, uh, you know, I'd like to see, you know, as you mentioned, I'd like to see Joyner get worked in. You know, why not? You know, what do you have to lose right now at this point? I'd like to see the carry on Joyner get worked in as well. Um, but, you know, I don't really, I'll be honest with you guys. I mean, this is, I'm in shock, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit in shock. I, I am in shock because I didn't see the injury on Saturday. Um, I don't think anybody did. So this was very surprising for me to hear. You know, I, you know, this, I hate to say it, could be maybe the best thing to happen to Will Muschamp's career at South Carolina because I talked about on the podcast and would say right now, to get this fan base back on your corner even a little bit, you had to make a switch at quarterback. And, yeah, broken foot is what they're saying. Six weeks, six to eight weeks. I mean, who knows? Basically the entire season. Hell, there's only 12 weeks left. So, you know, he had to make a switch at quarterback. This is not the way you wanted it to happen. I want to stress that. This is not the way any of us wanted it to happen. But, I mean, it's your time, Ryan. It's your time, Ryan Holinsky. So, you know, as far as the 2019 season outlook, though, I, I don't really know that this puts a better outlook on it. 
Um, again, I think at this point, getting to a bowl game would be a really good season, especially with a true freshman or center. You know, again, he's still a true freshman. He is a true freshman. That is that is a fact. Um, I'm again, I'm very intrigued to hear what Will Muschamp has to say tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, I'm in shock, man. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Um, you know, you expect South Carolina to beat CSU Saturday, no questions asked, no matter who's a quarterback. Uh, and you're sitting there at one and one, and you have Bama come to town. So, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's just wild. I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. I mean, again, it's it's crazy. I mean, we need, again, this is not the way, you know, I keep stressing, this is not the way you wanted it to happen necessarily, but you wanted to see a change at quarterback. You wanted to see a change at quarterback, and we're getting it. So, uh, I think uh, it's something that, you know, it's cra isn't it crazy? College football is such a week-to-week -week game. We spend all offseason – we spend all offseason making all these predictions and things we think are going to happen and things like – and in one week, the entire script is flipped. I mean, the entire script has been flipped on South Carolina football for 2019. So, you know, again, for me, the 2019 season, listen, I think Ryan Holinsky is obviously a kid. I mean, look what Sam Howell did against South Carolina. I think there's promise there. I think Ryan Holinsky can have a very good 2019 season. I think he can be the guy for South Carolina. Um, I'd like to see the carry-on joiner get snaps as well. You know, I would like to see that because we really still don't know what he can do, even though Ryan did beat him out. We don't know what he can do. But uh, this is Ryan's show now, man. He's going to get the opportunity again, thrust into action. I'm glad his first game's against Charleston Southern and not Alabama or Georgia or Clemson or anything like that. But, you know, this is, I mean, to be honest with you, this is kind of the shot in the arm of hope and confidence that maybe Gamecock fans needed. Maybe this program needed. Maybe this will be the spark that – this South kind of program needed. I mean, again, it's it's unfortunate with Jake. You never want to see a kid get his senior year taken away. And, again, I, I think Jake Bentley, I don't think his career is over. I mean, I with the transfer portal and the way things are going right now, you can't tell me that. <clears throat> I mean, it would be silly for him to not Jake Bentley to explore the, uh, the grad transfer market next year, which would be crazy. It would be crazy, but this is crazy too. So, I mean, I feel bad for Jake Bentley. Um, really, 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 really excited to see what Ryan Linsky can do under center, to see if it can provide a spark, if it can provide a jolt for this offense, for this team even. Um, and we'll have to see what happens going from here. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Again, sorry the crazy setup. I was just like, I got to come live right now, man. This is, this is, <laughs> this is immediate stuff. So, um, so yeah, we'll see. Number three, the, uh, the Ryan Holinsky era has officially begun. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Talk soon. Thanks.